Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Bob Simmons Show. I'm Tom Dorado, and the Cowboys opened Big 12 play this past weekend down in Austin, Texas. A hot day, and Bob, it was a tale of two halves, wasn't it? Uh, it was, Tom. We didn't open like we want to. Uh, I thought that the, the first half, our kids came out, and uh, we had some missed opportunities. But we had an opportunity to, <laughs> I thought about going in at 13-3, but we went in at 10-7. Uh, we missed the field goal just at the end of the half or had it blocked, uh, and uh, that was just how that first half went. We have all the highlights for you. Stay tuned. We're back with the Bob Simmons Show after this first timeout. Well, we are back. And, uh, Bob, I know it's got to be a broken record to you and your coaches, but missed opportunities. Well, it's better no opportunities at all, that's, Tom. I guess and, that's uh, true. You know, as I said before, I, I liked uh, some things we're doing, offense and moving the ball down. Uh, I like the way we started. You can see right now that – uh, we really had pretty good fan support. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the right orange the down right. That was the true orange. That was the true orange. And uh, the offense came out, the first play we give it to Jay, and uh, he does a good job of turning the corner for about 19 yards, and that's the way he wanted to start the ball game. The defense had, had held him, uh, but we come back, and uh, uh, Tony flushes here, and, and he scrambles. He scrambles for five, put us in a second and five situation, which is real good. Then we go back and go inside to Reggie, and I think Reggie picks up about uh, seven yards, third and one. Uh, so we convert our, our first first down uh, of, the, of the ball game, and, and now we, we come back out. And we, here's where we have to get better. It's first and 10, and it starts back off now, and I think it's uh, first and 15. Then we get sacked. Now it's, it's second and 20. Changes the whole personality uh, of the drive. It does. Uh, now it's second and long. We come back with the screen, which we almost completed. The ball was thrown off Reggie's hand a little bit. But we got to start making those plays. Then we come with the dash. Uh, and then uh, only Tony's only option is really throw it out of bounds. But that opportunity right there, we had a chance to go down the field. Uh, we had a, a, a motion penalty, which really put us off track. Now we kick the ball and uh, put our defense uh, on the field here. You can see I, I thought that our, our defense uh, in this particular series uh, time is, is, I don't know what down the distance is. This will be a second but, possession but, but we do a good job of, of getting after that's, that's Sims, mm -hmm. and, and uh, we forced a, a high throw there. Uh, we get him moving out of the pocket. As you know, he crossed the line of scrimmage. Uh, then we come back again, and uh, he goes inside. And uh, our defensive back, our linebacker at this particular time, is really playing well. He throws an interception to us, and we pick it off. This is a great opportunity for us. Uh, momentum changing. We take that ball down. I think he uh, uh, he steps out. I thought he's going to go in, but yep. I think he steps right out there at the five-yard line. Uh, and uh, this is early in the first half, and you can see where. Uh, Playing good coverage, good disguise. Our guy comes in. I don't see it on film. Uh, they call us for a penalty of, uh, of illegal contact uh, with with the quarterback. And, and again, that's a vicious call. We can't do anything about it. But we got to play above that. And what our defense do? They do a pretty good job. Uh, they come back in and they they hold them down to three points. And doing this drive, and you can see uh, he goes uh, outside on a bubble screen there. But we force him into a long field goal, probably a 35 yarder. Uh, and he converts that, and at this particular point, we're, we're three nothing. Instead of being down on the five yard line going in, uh, we're three nothing. We come back with this drive, and a ready, great run, uh, breaks a tackle. We need somebody to throw a couple blocks down here, but I thought he was going to score. Gets down to about the uh, ten yard line. Great opportunity for us to get right back in the ball game. Uh, as you can see there, that was a great keeping his balance, uh, run with a lot of strength here. You know, I would have scored if I was Reggie in terms of his speed, but uh, but, but you know what, that, that was a great run it time. It was, no <laughs> question about that. Obviously, uh, our Southwestern Bell play of the game. Right there, he's making people miss miss tackles, and he, uh, he's holding on the ball with two hands, except the run, but he gives us great field position. First and 10, uh, we come out and, and run an option. Uh, probably should have checked it into a whole different play, uh, but we go back inside to, to Reggie now, and we're down on about the five-yard line with the uh, with this is a third down play here. And Tony scrambles. He's got to hold that ball with two hands. It's critical we get the ball back. Uh, got a chance to uh, tie this, and he just comes across it. And watching the film time, we, we think that his plant leg is going to the outside and he's swinging across his body. Uh, and we got to look at that uh, as we go back into practice in this week. But we come back inside here. And, uh, Tony makes a nice strike to Marcellus. And this is what I'm saying. Uh, this is first down again. We scramble here. He scrambles for uh, close to a first down, fourth and one. Feel like we should go for it. If Tenney keeps his feet, he's going to get more, but he gets the first down, uh, which keeps our drive alive. And uh, as you can see, uh, we're scrambling again. Our protection has got to be better. 
Uh, we get into a second and 16 here after the clock runs out, second half. Goes back across. Right now it's, I think it's about third. Oh, that was third down. Third down right there. Uh, right. But uh, there was another opportunity for us to continue this drive and come up a little bit short in terms of execution. Uh, and as, as you can see, our defense is back on the field time. And uh, I thought the first half did a real nice job uh, with Alpha White. This is a nice sack. I think that's Kevin Williams. I believe it was Waylon uh, that, was that time. Waylon Brown. One hands him down. Yeah, right. nice strength. He just stripped that ball, but he pulls him down. Uh, and, and our defense is really playing a lot, lot of disguise. Uh, they're trying to run the ball here, and uh, really the first half, we do a good job of, of corralling their offense. Uh, we force the punt, we block it. Chris Massey does a nice job here. We worked on that all week. Takes the ball right off his foot. He really smothers the ball. Right up the gut. Uh, right up the gut, and uh, we need that ball to go back towards the end zone. <laughs> so we can go pick that uh, so up we and can score. Pick it up and score. But we're in great field position. Nice call here. Good run by Reggie. Uh, down to the, about the seven yard line. Uh, we come back inside, go back to the same play, right up the mm. gut, and now we're leading seven to three. Great momentum, a lot of excitement. Uh, you can see our kids play is blocked uh, to perfection here. Uh, we got a body on the body, nice cut right up the middle time, and, and, and that's where we got to do it consistently uh, on offense. It's and, not uh, too much of a stretch to say that for the first quarter and a half, we're in control of this ball game at just about every phase. Very much so. I thought our defense was in control. I thought our offense uh, was doing a pretty good job here. They go back to running the ball, and uh, you know we got to shore up the defense in terms of everybody responsible for their gap. Uh, and as you can see, we do that. Uh, we do a good job. And, you know, third downs. You know, he he sneaking. He doesn't make it here. You come out, try fake. Mm -hmm. uh, we got covered. everybody covered. We got two people. Uh, we kept our defense on the field. And now here we is. We got great field position. A lot of enthusiasm here. Go back up inside. Uh, play not blocked very well. Uh, again, uh, Reggie's still running hard here. We got to do a better job of blocking up front. We come back in. This is a third down here. Tony scrambles. Uh, gets the ball down the field. Could have been a pass interference call, but there is a situation where uh, we need to move that ball downfield at least, uh, either go up 10-7, 14-3. But we had a chance to do that. Uh, and as you can see that, you know, Apple White's gonna make some things happen. He's a good quarterback. Comes back and throws a strike here. Uh, goes back to another inside. That's third down. We're supposed to be inside in terms of our technique and we're outside. Now it's third and 10. Uh, and he converts a uh, third and nine situation into a touchdown. Well, they stepped out, then he comes back inside, then they run for a touchdown. But our, our biggest uh, thing that we got to solve, Tom, on defense is that we've had the ball thrown over our heads in the last three ball games, and that's the only way they have scored. They have not driven the ball down the field, and uh, we have to uh, uh, make the better, de better decisions back there. Tony comes back, we get a good interference call. Uh, we're trying to tie this ball game up. Nice scramble play here. Uh, he runs for about 15, 20 yards. We had six seconds left. Got a chance to tie it up. Uh, again, we get that kick blocked. One of the reasons is that when we watch on the film, we are waiting to kick that ball. And we got to go back to uh, looking at ourselves and filming our kickers and make sure that we are kicking that ball as soon as it's, it's hits the uh, holder's hand. And uh, come back out the second half time, went in and uh, talked about the adjustments and what we had to do uh, that our defense had to hold them. And as you can see, uh, we do a good job on this particular uh, uh, series of plays. They come back on the third down, nice hit. Uh, we force them to kick here at time. We got the ball. We'll have the ball in pretty good field mm -hmm. position. Still in control and, of the tempo uh, of this game. Right. Uh, they get an illegal uh, uh, halo rule. But you, 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 you see, we're starting to drive on the 45, 40 Which is yard nice, line, short field. Which is exactly what you want to do. But here we go, uh, we get uh, two uh, illegal procedures. We get another one. Now instead of first and 10, it's first and 20. Uh, and uh, we do not take advantage of that. We end up kicking the ball down to them. Uh, we, and uh, they start to drive right there on the 10. You're gonna see this series, our defense do a good job. Uh, because we have field position, and the key is to maintain that field position. Nice sack by, I think that's Zach Aiken. Uh, fourth, third and 14. This is critical play because it's third and 14 and we should be back off and we can't give up uh, plays like this in third and long. Uh, instead of us having great field position, they turned into an advantage for them, uh, which was a big play in the ball game. And as you know, we come back here, we get a, a, a quarterback, uh, a tailback exchange problem, uh, which uh, leads to uh, them driving the ball down. He comes back inside and our defense, Sutton Chains, does a good, good job, job again. going in, uh, keeping it to three points. 
uh, time, and, and uh, I think at that point in time, it's, I don't know, it's called 10 to 7 or 17 to 7. Good play. Tatum Bell's got a chance to play. He's still on the outside. Yeah, everybody wants to cuss. If he goes down the sideline, he's got a much more better and he got obviously snaps. score. And uh, good job here of lowering that shoulder and getting what he can get and get out of bounds. Uh, we're in a nice area down here. This is a nice run by Tatum. You can see we're on a 25 yard line. Got a chance to make this score 17 to 7. But, uh, uh, you know, Tom, that's the nature of the game. Uh, we got to be a lot more consistent than we are uh, in terms of our execution. Uh, I, I, I like the fact that we can move the ball defensively. We cannot give up the big play. Uh, we got to eliminate those things from our offense and defense. I feel like, still feel like we got a very good chance, very good football team. Uh, we're two and two, but we got to make changes, uh, positive changes for us to start winning games. And again, the tape doesn't lie. There were right. some positive things that came out of oh, that game. Oh, very much so, very much so. And uh, we, we met today as a staff. We're going to meet tomorrow. Uh, we got to look at what we got to do to be better as a good football team. And next team. up is Missouri. We'll talk about that right. a little bit later in the show. You know, the mid-40s, well, that was certainly a golden era in Oklahoma State football history. In the second and final part of our conversation with two-time All-American Bob Fenimore, we talk about bowl appearances, Mr. Iba, and yes, even golf. And it all comes up on this week's Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance Two-Minute Drill. What made those teams in 44, 45, 46, what made those teams so special in your mind? I think the one thing we had, Tom, that uh, a lot of the other teams didn't have, and that's speed. And I'm talking about at all positions. We had guards, now they're not going to break a 10 flat in 100, but they could run uh, our tackles. They weren't very large by that, uh, probably 215 pounds, but they could run. Our ends, Neil Armstrong, he was a high hurdler in track. He was a, he could really run. And all the backs could run. So speed was the biggest uh, contributing factor, I think, uh, if you want to nail one thing down uh, to our success. What were your recollections of Mr. Iba? Well, all the time I was in school, I would say the, if you had to boil it down to one word, you would say fear. Uh, also respect. Henry Iba had the view that he didn't care if you liked him while you were in school. He'd like for you to like him when you left school. But the thing that he wanted more than anything else was respect. Tell us what you recall about the Sugar Bowl and also the Cotton Bowl uh, prior to that. Well, I think the Cotton Bowl probably, and the fact that we went to the Cotton Bowl and beat TCU 34 to nothing uh, opened eyes all over the country about uh, what kind of a football team they had at Oklahoma A&M. So uh, we had early reports that we were even considered for the Rose Bowl. Mm. But uh, we got kids hurt and things just didn't fall in place. We were really looking forward to uh, the Sugar Bowl. We beat St. Mary's because we were bigger and faster stronger, and we just wore them down. Why don't you bring our fans up to date on what Bob Fenimore's been doing of late? What are you doing now? It seems that I'm either sleeping or uh, on my computer. What happened to the golf game? You didn't mention golf. Well, you know, I hurt my back about a, uh, a year ago, and uh, I've had treatment on it, and I think I'm able now to go back and play. It doesn't take you long to get back on that golf course. I remember another feature we did way back when. You yes. hadn't played in a while. Yes. You stepped up there and, and put that tee shot about 10 feet from the pin. Oh, you knocked that thing 
Yeah, but uh, it was uh, further than your 10 feet, and you buried the hole and I didn't, which, which I still hold, hold against you to this day. Bob, thank you so much for coming down here and sharing all this with us. We enjoyed the visit, and uh, I know our fans have been happy to hear from you, and uh, we'll see you down the road a little bit. Well, it's my pleasure, Tom. Thank you. Uh, you know, Tom, uh, as I said before, this is the second time I've, I've heard uh, Bob Fiddlemore, and uh, he represents what Oklahoma State's all about. He mentioned that speed, and mm -hmm. uh, that's something that in today's football, speed is what you must have. Well, that's for sure. You talked about that speed. We're going to talk to one of the guys uh, right here at Oklahoma State who has as much speed as you'll find in the conference in the nation. That's Reggie White. We'll meet with Reggie when we come back to this time. Now it's time for the Big Time Sports Apparel Player Spotlight. Each week we feature the cowboy who typifies the big time attitude to dig down deeper. This week's cowboy in the player spotlight is Reggie White. Congratulations, when you were big time, dig down deeper. We are back and in, uh, indeed big time. And before we talk about this week's big time player, Reggie White, he is styling today, isn't he? I, I like that, you know, you know, I got a dark suit, but he's got that, that gangster type look, you know. He's got the stripes going. Looks good. Going. Right. Looks good. Reg, <clears throat> I tell you this before we started the show. Uh, coming out of Austin, a fellow said, how come he looks so sad? He went over 100 yards against this Texas defense. And I said, that's basically Reggie White. It's all about team, not individual. Yes, that's right. You know, it's kind of disappointing. You know, like Coach said earlier, we, we've been missing out on a lot of opportunities in the red zone. It's two weeks in a row we know we should have won against two teams. You know, it was two good teams, but we know we should have came out with the victory. You like having a big guy like this? Well, I do. Trust. I do, Tom. Uh, uh, I really like uh, his attitude. Uh, his, he sees the overall picture. Uh, you know, Reggie, uh, as far as I'm concerned, has grown up, matured. Not only is he, is he playing big time, uh, but also uh, he represents the kind of attitude that the team uh, needs to embrace. And uh, I like what he just said. You know, we played, uh, we've got two losses, but I think that he and, and the rest of the football players on the team know that, you know, we can't let those games slip away. And indeed, uh, that it is a long season, and we have an opportunity to turn that around. One thing he does, and I know you like it, and Reg, you come to work every day, every day in practice with the same intensity. Yes, because each day we got we got to take a opportunity to get better because, you know, we can't be satisfied the way we're playing right now. Like Coach said, we're going to practice uh, tomorrow. We need, to, we, need to, we need to search inside ourselves and, and find a solution to what's going on because we got to turn this thing around. Next week, Missouri. Looking forward to that, right? Yes. We, I'm ready. I'm so anxious. I'm ready to practice right now. <laughs> You'll get your chance. We appreciate you coming out. Rest a little bit more. You can hit that practice field when we get out there tomorrow. We'll be back to wrap this all up after this final timeout. Got the Tigers next week time. They played a heck of a game at Nebraska although he lost their quarterback, but they will be a good opponent. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Join us next week for Bob Simmons, our entire crew here at ETS. Tom Dorado. Goodbye, everybody.